。美国驻联合国大使林达托马斯格林菲尔特星期五十月二十七日表示，以色列同埋巴勒斯坦武装分子哈马斯喺加沙地带嘅冲突已经到咗危险时刻。佢强调，美国喺公开同埋私下谈话中都明确表示，当以色列行使佢嘅权力，保护佢嘅人民免受恐怖组织侵害嘅时候，必须遵守战争规则。As President Biden said yesterday, there's no going back to the status quo as it stood on October 6. We must not go back to the status quo where Hamas terrorizes Israel and uses Palestinian civilians as human shields, and we must not go back to a status quo where extremist settlers can attack and terrorize Palestinians in the West Bank. The status quo is untenable, and it is unacceptable. This means that when this crisis is over, there has to be a vision of what comes next. In our view, that vision must be centered around a two-state solution. Getting there will require concerted efforts by all of us: Israelis, Palestinians, regional partners, and global leaders. To put us on a path for peace, to integrate Israel with the region, while insisting that the aspirations of the Palestinian people do, to be part of a more hopeful future. We deeply regret that the resolution now under consideration is detrimental to this vision. But while this resolution is deeply flawed and does not meet. This moment, the United States will continue to work with all member states to chart a future where Israelis and Palestinians have equal measures of security, freedom, justice, opportunity, and dignity, and a future where Palestinians realize their legitimate right to self-determination and a state of their own. Thank you very much.